Hi, and welcome back to my page. My name is Sarah Fuentes, and I'm a math teacher and an instructional coach in New York, working with a few schools in the city. And today we're gonna look at a word problem from the New York State exam from seventh grade. It is a complex fraction problem. Um, it is from seventh grade, specifically from standard 7RPA1. RP just means ratios and proportions. And we're gonna look at how we can solve this problem in different ways using either a division, a proportion, or my favorite, a bar model. And what I love about this is it will give you access no matter where you are in this process. So we're gonna just jump in and get started with this problem. So here's a problem and it is from the 2019 state exam. On average, Shantae drinks half of six ounce glass of water um, in two thirds of an hour. How much does she drink in an hour? So me just automatically just thinking to myself, half of six ounces is just three ounces. And she's doing this in two thirds of an hour. So there's a relationship between these two numbers somehow. Uh, so what I always tell my kids is don't worry about the choices right now. We're going to get to that. We always cover it up so we can do our work. And let's pretend we're a kid that has no access to this problem. So we're going to use a bar model. And what we know for sure is that Shantae drinks three ounces in two thirds of an hour. So I'm just going to put this together just to represent this is two thirds. So I'm going to draw all three thirds just so you can kind of see it. Three thirds that are happening right here. One, two, three. Um, and we know that in two thirds, she's drinking that much water. So inside each one, I'm going to put here's one third of an hour. Here's another third. Um, but we want to know what happens in the whole hour. If I have all three thirds, how much is she drinking? And so I have a relationship happening here. I know this is true, but I want to know how much this whole thing is in one hour if we're talking about time. But the problem is I really don't know. So I'm going to look for relationships. I'm going to just add this here so you can kind of just see um, time. Um, what I do know, if I'm thinking a lot here, I know that this is happening in two thirds. So what if I only wanted one third, just one little part of it? Just one piece and I'm thinking of just relationships and stuff I know that I can think about it in terms of halves like what if half the time how much should she be drinking so what is half of three I know 1.5 is half of three so in the same amount of time if I put these together then I know together this makes three in the same amount of time and she's drinking at the same rate every one third so I can put all this together, 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5. And when I add all that up, and luckily in seventh grade they can do this with a calculator, you can just add one plus one plus one makes three and the 0.5s together, and you're gonna get 4.5 ounces. And now what I tell my kids is, go back and look at your choices, and boom, here you go, you can see it, 4.5. So look at how I can solve this problem just by using logic, just by thinking for a minute, um, what could happen in this problem. And it all starts by me just thinking about this relationship of two thirds. Like if I have two thirds of the time and I'm drinking three ounces, what happens? And again, just thinking about, well, I don't really want to know the two thirds. The key to this is figuring out just the one third. But let's look at other ways. And I love how I have the steps here for you so you can see I made a relationship with my visual I kind of identified the part I didn't know, and I just looked for equivalence in there. Okay, so let's look at it just with division. So again, we know this is true. Three ounces in two thirds of an hour. So I'm gonna represent that three ounces in two thirds of an hour. And I call this a complex fraction because I have two different units happening here. And even though it's a fraction, anytime I see this fraction bar, I'm actually thinking of division because I just have my numerator and I have my denominator and a fraction bar, and that's just a division problem. So I would read it from top to bottom as three being divided, three ounces being divided by two thirds to get a number. And I can solve this because we have enough skill for that. So I'm gonna just turn this to a mixed number 
and I'm going to multiply by a reciprocal and I get nine halves and I can do some work here because again this is division this is the same as just in your head you do nine divided by two and that's the same as four and one remainder left out of two which again same as four and one half ounces so I can solve this problem just by doing the division work as long as I'm representing it as a complex fraction. And again, it's still a ratio proportion problem because there's a relationship between these two numbers. They're somehow connected. Let's look at one more way that we can look at the relationship between the two numbers. So I'm gonna start again by looking at my three ounces in two thirds of an hour. And this is probably the most familiar way to set this up. I wanna know how much is in one hour. And you probably remember doing this when you were younger by cross multiplying. I call this cross products for kids instead because it's a little bit easier. Just think of crossing my products. I'm gonna write that in there. So three times one is three. And two thirds times the number is equal to two thirds times some number. And again, I want to isolate this very well. I want to get that N by itself. So being that they're connected by multiplying, I'm going to use my inverse, my opposite, which is division. So I'm going to divide it by two thirds. And a number divided by itself just gives me one. So on this side, I have three being divided by two thirds. Because remember, when we do the one side, we do it to the other. And we just did this problem on the other page. So we saw how to solve this which is just 3 over 1 being divided by 2 thirds, 3 over 1 times 3 over 2, which is the same as 9 over 2 when I multiply across. And we solved it on the other part. 9 divided by 2 is the same as 4.5. So here are three different ways we can solve a problem like this. Again, this is from the 2019 New York State exam. I love that I have different access points this, so no matter what kind of learner you are, if you're bad at multiplying, dividing with fractions, that bar model is the one that gives you that first entry, um, as long as you're looking at the relationships. This problem is about relationships. Some kids are better at just dividing and just seeing that that's what the operation is here and this works for them, and others need to see it as a proportion to see the relationship. So let me know what you think about the video. If you like it, just please share it with your friends. Subscribe to the page. I come up with new videos twice a week. Or you can actually email me at sarah at mathminilessons.com if you have topics that you would like to see covered um, to help your student or if you are a student, things that you want help in. Or if you're a teacher, something that maybe you're struggling to do some work in. I'll have my next videos next week. I'm always looking for new topics. So as always, if you have questions or is there stuff you want to see or just, just want to talk about the problem, just add it to the comments and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Have a great day.